Alice, an interesting one. This is the uh, highlights from the first set of this men's quarterfinals. This is the uh, warm-up. And this Federer, the opening game, is down break points against Gonzalez. I'm joined by Wally Masua. And, uh, well, this could be an interesting one. Gonzalez against Federer. They've played 14 times, I think. 11 times. Need to put my glasses on so I can see this. Well, Gonzalez won the last time they played in the Masters Cup. I was in Shanghai. There's Berka Vavranek, who is Roger Federer's partner. So Federer missing early off the ground, trying to make the pace. Serving and volleying, not doing enough with the volley. If you don't do enough with the volley on the on the clay wallet, sort of uh, with the clay quarters, they can open up the court pretty easily. Well, this is very much a case for Federer. He has to go to the forehand to get to the backhand. Didn't get it right on that occasion. Because if you go to the backhand and come in, then you volley to the forehand, and that is the great strength of Gonzalez. So this is a big surprise here. Set points. Just a bit of tactical nous needed to be applied by Federer. Almost a frustration there. That's the opening set to Fernando Gonzalez from Chile. He's the 24th seed. And he's leading 4-2 now in the second set. It's the feeling Federer stung into action after losing that first set. That's what we like to see from Federer. He knows he can win standing at the back of the court and just coming over the, his backhand with the backhand top spin. But it, it's just nice to see him employ all of his talents using the drop shot on that occasion. He's got so many ways to win Federer, but he's just going to utilise all of his talents. Set points there, and Federer cruises through. Just a bit impatient there, but good to see him serving and volleying. See, but that's the thing for me, though, because if you watch Federer in all the rounds and all the tournaments leading up to this moment, he doesn't serve and volley because he doesn't have to. He doesn't even serve volley on grass. But now when he gets into a match where you do need to serve and volley the Gonzales backhand occasionally, he's not sharp. I mean, he framed that. Framed it, but he also hit it down the middle of the court. saying, get out of my way, get out of my way. He didn't have enough court. It's a huge backdrop to this court. But look where Gonzalez is. Nearly takes the line judge's head off. He says, get out of the way. Look, guys dodging bullets. <laughs> See, throw his arms up in the air. Well, they are immovable objects. A linesman is considered part of the court. They don't have to get out of the way. Put he down.
Well, he did get out of it. Good confidence builder. And there's another racket. He's not happy with that. He, he lets it go. And he loses his cool because he's got rid of a couple. No, no. Yes, no, let it go. I mean, off the Nadal forehand, pretty tough to do. To trade ground shots at the back of the court with Gonzalez, no more ever since that second set kicked in. That's a great one too. Gonzalez, you could see straight after the serve, he's backing into the backhand corner. He forehand. Federer there burns him down the line. And then of course, he's got the gaping hole to the backhand side. It's a nice execution, though. Yeah, I love the way he runs onto the ball, Federer, and he moves forward on that transition area. This one, Federer was just around the baseline. This is an easy one for him. You know that feeling on a tennis court, Fred? When you've got time, it feels great. When you're rushed, yeah. everything just seems to be happening way too quickly. You sense that Gonzalez just feels rushed at the moment, both Break mentally points. and physically. Federer's just on him. You mentioned how Federer's running onto the ball. Burnt the time before. That was a bit silly there. Mirka right in the middle of your screen there. Roger Federer's partner. She's happy about that. But it's essentially a shot to stay consistent in the rally to get the opportunity to use the forehand. Oh. We can see that one dive sideways. That's good by Federer. 40 15 now for a three love lead. Whoa, Start to construct points using that forehand. Hard for him to get a lot of free points. Oh. Tell you, Fred, these boys are using the court pretty well. This trouble. <laughs> Guys live because you don't get an idea of the spin on TV. You get a feel for the pace, but not the spin of the ball. Borgie strung is very tight in a tiny wooden frame. Yeah. Look at so many shots here on the rise. He's taking all sorts of time away from oh, Gonzalez. And then he's got accuracy to back it up. Je fais 